Assalamualaikum. Uh, good morning, everyone. I hope that you're doing fine uh, today. And because we have to do a synchronous discussion, so I just made this video to make everything clear. Please make sure that you watch the video from the beginning to the end. And not only watch it, I really expect you to practice immediately while watching this video. OK, so. Obviously, I'm inside a building, but why am I wearing a hat? Um, yeah, no reason. I just have a lot of hats and rarely wear them, so I wear one today. <laughs> Not important. OK, um, so last week I asked you to install properly uh, Mendeley application and also publish and perish. OK, so uh, in this video, I'm going to talk about how to use them. Uh, and how to cite properly for your writing, whether be it scripty or any other academic writing, because citing properly is really important these days, especially because uh, if not, then it, your work will be considered as plagiarism or probably recognized by machine as um, plagiarized uh, work. Uh, websites that can help us to uh, find the information uh, of what is inside that book. So usually I will just use my Google browser and I will just write Purdu Owl APA 7th edition. OK, that's the newest edition and it, you're going to find it. Um, I think the first one, so I will just click it and then you will be referred uh, to this website. OK, so you'll find APA style seventh edition in this websites. Uh, I will go directly here. OK, I'm going to click here on the left side of this uh, website and you will see a table of content here. We have general format uh, in text citation. Uh, the basic authors, reference list, reference list, blah, blah, blah. So in-text citation is the rule of citing inside the article. You know, uh, the one like according to blah, 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 uh, who stated that blah, 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 that is called in-text citation. So the one that we cite inside the text. While reference list is what some uh, some people will call it bibliography. So this is the list of references that we use in the in-text citation. You need to understand that the rule is whatever you cite or whatever you use in the in-text citation, you have to also mention in the reference list. So they have to match. OK, I think you already learned this in semester two or semester three or semester five or four when you have to write uh, some assignment. So I guess uh, you already understand that. OK, so uh, what we are going to discuss today is the index citation. So just read yourself the basic. The basic means uh, the general rule. Please read yourself. Um, you can read it yourself. This is very important to read. And then. In text citation, the authors that is to check how to read, how to write a citation when you have. Different um, different numbers of authors, like how to cite if you have one author only two authors, three authors, or unknown authors, you know, things like that. Why do we need this if we already use Mendeley? Because Mendeley is only an application, just like Google Scholar. Sometimes the information is incomplete. How to make sure that the information is complete and based on the rule? We can use this website to check. OK, let me show you how to do it. OK, first thing first, we're going to talk about publish or perish. OK, OK, so uh, I hope that you have installed this application publish or perish. Uh, so this is an application for you to find a lot of articles at once, so you don't have to 
search for the article one by one in Google Scholar or Google Scholar profile or Scopus or Crossref. What you need to understand if uh, here, uh, if you already open uh, publish or perish, uh, the one that you can access is the one with one star because that's free. OK, OK, so I just click on Google Scholars and what I do usually is first, it's really important that you use journal articles mostly for your scripty because that's the one that is considered as reliable instead of just any websites or any articles. OK, so journals are the reliable articles. I well, you can also fill in the keyword and also title words. Uh, I would say self concept, self concept. That's because that's the topic of my research, the one that I really like. Uh, I also like to work. I also like to research about self concept and creative uh, creativity. Creativity, but also in the field of English as a foreign language. OK, let's let's make it 50 first. Yeah, let's make it 50. And then I want a publication that is new. So I will say from 2018 to 2023 and I go search. Let's see what I can find here. OK, so I have 50 uh, 50 articles and you can check one by one. You can check one by one. Uh, you can actually check here in the right side of the uh, the the application uh, to see whether this is something that you like to use or not. OK, for example, number one, uh, I like it. OK, so I'm going to use it. I'm going to use this one too. I'm going to use this. I'm going to use this. Uh, and say, for example, I don't want to use this, then you can just uncheck this box. OK, if you uncheck this box, these articles are not going to be safe. OK, uh, but for now, I think I'm going to save all of them and then I will just save result and I'm going to choose BIP text. Yeah, if I want to uh, transfer it to uh, Mendeley. OK, and then just save it whenever you want to save it. Yeah, for self concept, I'm going to put it here. OK, pop sites and then rename the. Uh, self concept creativity. OK. Now just click save. OK, now I'm going to open my uh, Mendeley. OK, so in here, every time I open my Mendeley, uh, I will be asked this, which one that I use uh, for default. And of course, I choose American Psychology Association 7th edition because that's the newest one. OK, so what I'm going to do to transfer what I have in publish or perish is I'm going to create a folder. OK, new folder. Uh, as you can see here. Uh, on the left side, you have groups and also you have folder. Uh, my Mendeley is the old Mendeley. Maybe the look in your Mendeley is going to be different, but I believe there are folder and also groups. Groups are the folder that you can share with other people. So let's say you want to cooperate with a friend who has the same topic, for example. You can uh, actually cooperate with this friend and work together to find references. I think that's going to be really helpful because then uh, both of you can contribute and you know, like you, you get more references. But what I'm going to do here is to create a folder like new folder. Uh, my new folder uh, is. Going to be a self. Concept and creativity. OK. Right. OK, so I have my new folder here here and my folder is still empty. Right, it's still empty, so I'm going to add files. So 
search for wait, here. No, oh, oh, here. OK, so I'm going to click that uh, the bib text file. I just put it here as you can see. So the 50 articles that I put in publish in Paris is in here. OK, then I'm going to check one by one um, if I need it or not. Let's say I just click twice. Um, and I will be able to go directly to the websites. Oh, doesn't work. If this doesn't work, then you can just go to the URL. OK, if it doesn't work, you can go to URL. OK, there you go. So we have Dina Rahmawati here and we can just read her article because the PDF is free and we can have access to it. So it is good, right? So this is the time when you need to do this correctly. So you read the article, right? And then you want to cite something from Rahmawati. So I want to cite Rahmawati on her findings. OK, let's see. I will go directly to the findings. OK, I will be careful to cite from. The other parts, OK, so this is an interesting information that I want to cite, right? Um, I'll just take this information and this is from Rahmawati. So what I do, OK, I have to understand the rule of citation, right? The rule of citation is first. When you cite. OK, so this is where you need to check the Purdu here. First short quotation quotation rule is that you always have to use quotation mark, right? You have to use quotation mark. What is quotation mark? This one. OK, you have to use quotation mark. What is quotation? Quotation is when you directly copy and paste the original sentence. Right? You don't change anything. OK, so that's called quotation. That can be done, but uh, with a very, very strict rule. And just remember, quotation is not something that you can do too much. OK, this is something that you have to do very sparingly, meaning you cannot do too much. Other than quotation mark, you also have to put the page number and it has to be like this. In parentheses, P, lowercase p, yeah, lowercase p, period, and then space, and then the number, the page number, and then the period of the sentence is after the parentheses. Okay, if you forget that, just go to Purdu Owl and then check short quotations. OK, so this is what I'm going to do to combine between Mendeley and also this knowledge. OK, I'm going to open a Word document. And, and let's say I make my introduction, blah, 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 and then I want to quote from uh, Rahmawati. OK. Significant others, personality traits and the academic capacity were both substantially essential for the pre service teachers development. OK, I just want to take this information. OK, so I'm going to say according to and then I'm going to insert the reference. Insert citation. OK, insert citation and I'm going to find Rahmawati. As you can see, I can see it here. I'm just clicking it and then OK. It will immediately appear here. So according to Rahmawati, OK, comma, significant others personality. What is the rule? We have to check the rule first. The rules of quotation is first you have to use quotation mark, right? You have to use quotation mark. So the one that is exactly what Rahmawati said, I have to add quotation mark here. OK, and then rule number two, when you put the the author as subject, like for example, this one, according to Jones, then the one in parenthesis is only the year. OK, only the year. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this. According to Rahmawati, I'm going to put the parenthesis on the year only. And you will be asked this, keep manual edit or undo manual edit. I'm going to say keep manual edit. That way you can edit your uh, citation. According to Rahmawati, significant other's personality, blah, blah, blah. What is another rule of quotation? To put, check again on Purdu, to put the page number, right? Just remember, P, period, space, and then the number, and then close the parenthesis, and then period, okay? Uh, I want to check what page is this. Uh, this is page 48. So that's what I'm going to add, page 48. Page P, small p or lowercase, space 48. And then close the parenthesis and then period. That's how you could. Okay. Uh, so you use the Mendeley for this. Miss, can I use manual? No, you may not. <laughs> because if you use manual, then in your reference list, you cannot do this because when I said in, I click insert bibliography, automatically Rahmawati will be there. So if you use manual, you cannot automatically what's in here. And remember the rule, whatever you cite in here has to appear in here, right? OK, so uh, I'm going to delete this first because today we just talk about quotation. OK, so this is a quotation. Quotation is when you only directly copy from the author. Remember, you don't have to directly copy the whole sentence. Like, for example, what I do, um, because if I say based on the finding, blah, 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 the complete sentence, it doesn't make any sense. So I just cut this information is the one that I need. Right. Uh, Maybe before that, I write something. Uh, many factors uh, are important to uh, support academic performance. So when you cite, you also have to think about the sentence. This Does the sentence make sense? If it doesn't make sense, then you have to, you know, think about the grammar and also, uh, you know, how your quotation will be blended with your words, right? I hope this is clear. Okay, now I want to give you another example. Uh, I want to quote another information. So I look again in my Mendeley collection and then I see here there is a... Uh, um, Extensive reading on Turkish learners. Uh, I want to see the correlation between self-concept. If self-concept actually has something to do with the academic performance, and I see the, the article by Aprilia, um, because I cannot uh, double click it and I cannot access it. So I will just use the URL. Um, this, yeah, I just use the URL and I found the article is free. Uh, yeah, as long as you can click the PDF, that means it's free. OK. So uh, I usually will go directly to the finding. Depends on what the research is about. And then I will see the the finding of the the articles. And I can see here there is an information that I'm interested in because Aprilia found that self-concept has influence, but uh, not influence, has a correlation with academic performance, but very weak correlation. So this is interesting to me. So I'm just going to copy that if I want to quote. Yeah, remember our discussion today is quotation. Uh, next week, we're going to talk about something else. Um, so first, of course, I have to create a very good paragraph. I have to pay attention to my, my sentences. So um, I will add something like uh, self-concept um, 
has also been found to correlate to students' uh, academic performance. Okay. And then I'm going to insert Aprilia. Okay, here. That's the article that we use. Aprilia, remember if this is a subject. I will just put this here. Okay, so I have to edit from Mendeley. Okay. Aprilia, uh, for example, found that uh, self a concept has a weak correlation to their academic performance because now starting from this i just want to uh, copy directly from aprilia so i cut her sentence and i just want to take the information this one OK, even though it's not a complete sentence, it's still a quotation. So this is what I'm going to do uh, because. Of course, I'm going to make sure that my format is the same. Remember that from because it's Aprilia sentence, not my sentence. So my job is to put quotation mark OK in Aprilia sentence. OK, and then remember the rule we have to put inside parenthesis, the page number P, period, space, and then let's check what page is that sentence. Okay, what page is this? Uh, 142, so I'm just going to put a page here, page 142, and period. Okay, so that's an example of quotation. Just remember when you quote first, you have to do it sparingly, meaning you cannot do it all the time. You cannot do it a lot. Just just do it just, you know, when you really, really have to use exactly as it says in the article. And second, you have to make sure that you follow the rule. Rule number one, always give a quotation mark, OK? Number one, quotation mark, right? Quotation mark is this one. OK, number two, page number. OK, always use page number. P, period, and then number, and then close, and then period. OK, uh, and also uh, when you use the, the, the author as subject, OK, author as subject, then you have to put the author uh, only uh, only the year is in parenthesis, okay? Author. So it's author and then year, okay? What about if I don't use the author uh, as uh, a subject? Okay, let me give you uh, example, mm, for example, I want to say many factors are important. Uh, significant others. OK, let's say I want to use Rahmawati, but I don't want to make her as the subject of my sentence. So. Uh, I would just say one study has found that blah 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 okay so i just put rahmawati oh sorry not insert insert rahmawati bam and then what i do is just adding the page number comma and then page 42 OK, so I don't have to. So everything is inside the parenthesis. Yeah, so the rule is the author as a subject, only the year is in parenthesis. But if not as a subject, then everything is in parenthesis. So this is the rule. 
right? Uh, what if I forgot the row? No, that's the function of pull do, right? You can just always check again here. OK, what's the rule? OK, so I am here OK, to check the rule of uh, quotation. Yeah, OK, quotation also has its type. Yeah, this is a short quotation, which is the one that is suggested. But sometimes people really, really need to cite more than 40 words, so it's called long quotation, but this is OK, you can read the rules. I'm not going to talk about it here because this is something that I would not suggest. OK, this is something that uh, try to avoid. Yeah, I don't think you you're going to need it. Try to avoid long quotation and short quotation. You can use it, but use it sparingly, meaning don't use it too much. OK, all right. I hope uh, it clears up. Um, of how to Side, yeah. So this is what's going to look like in your writing. Remember the sentence, uh, um, the quotation. Oh yeah, the the last rule. The quotations, uh, have to be blended well in paragraphs, okay, or sentences. So when you read your 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 sentences, it makes sense. OK, you cannot just copy paste and then put them there. You have to also see your sentence and the grammatical accuracy. OK, so I hope that clears uh, that is clear. OK, now, so what happened if the information that we have in Mendeley is not complete? Let me give you an example. Uh, I have an article here called relationship uh, between willingness to communicate, blah, blah, blah. But this article is not. Uh, does not have a complete information. As you can see, this article doesn't have a uh, author, okay? Doesn't have publication, doesn't have year. Basically, it only has a title. And also, this article is actually not a web page. This article is also a journal. So what I do is I have to fix the information in Mendeley. So. First, I have to write it as it is because it's a journal article, so I I click here the type and then I put journal article in there. So drama play. And WTC, OK, so. Let me try to find that article. Willingness. To communicate Oh, this one. All right, so if I sign. You can see what happened. It doesn't properly give you the information, so that's my job as the author to complete the information in Mendeley. OK, so what I do is I'm going to find this article. OK, I'm going to find this article online. OK. Right, immediately find it. OK, so then I know that this article is a journal article. OK, I have checked and this is uh, apparently a journal article. Right, so I'm going to put the article's name, uh, the author's name in. Inside Mandalay. Right. Uh, so we have Puriya Bage and Ali Durashan. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put the author in here. Remember, when you put the author, you have to start from the uh, last name. OK, and then this one and then the second author is Ali. OK, so I have the information, right? Uh, if you already have the author, remember if we quote, we also need the year and this one doesn't have a year. OK, so this is published in 2012. OK, so that's what I'm going to write. OK, 2012. All right, check this out. Whenever you update the information, you can just click refresh here. OK, refresh. Ta -da! And you have your author, right? OK, so basically it. Um, I hope uh, it's not confusing for you, not a, too much information. Uh, I hope you can practice the quotation and uh, you can show me next week. Thank you so much, everyone. See you. Assalamualaikum.